Hello. Faith is not easy. Faith doesn't make things easy. It makes it possible. My brain is like, I don't know, on vacation. Three times at least I've tried to make this video. I made it once, twice, and I had to delete it. Once I delete on accident, then I had to delete the other one. Anyway, I do want to read this. It's a really good story. And, uh, about how mighty God is. It says, And the hand of the Lord was upon me, and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were many in the opening open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again I say unto thee, prophesy unto me, prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, these bones, behold, I cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and bring flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I was commanded, and I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews in the flesh, and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. And the Lord said, and he said unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and they stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves. And ye shall put and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land, and then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, saith the Lord. There is nothing he cannot do, nothing he cannot do, except lie. He can't lie. He can make dry bones come to life. He can save you. He can forgive you of your sins. He can heal you of anxiety and fear. All kinds of stuff. There is so many demons and devils and things that cause stuff to happen to you. And I used to not know it, but I know I was tortured with my fear and anxiety that it wasn't all me. I, I know it now. I didn't know it then, but I know it now. And I'm healed of it. It's gone. And it's been, it was 2022, October 1st, I believe it was, when, uh, I was healed of it, and I'm still healed of it, and I don't, and I can let it back, but I'm not going to let it back. God wants you to, wants to forgive your sins. Jesus is waiting to forgive you of your sins. Have faith. Believe in, believe in Jesus. Believe God that John's, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Have faith and believe. Ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins and he will. He's waiting to do it. He wants to do it. He don't want you to go to hell with the devil. He wants you to be in heaven with him. I hope you understood something I said because God, the Almighty is almighty. He is amazing. There's nothing he can't do except lie. I hope you come to him. I hope you ask forgiveness of your sins. And I hope you make it to heaven. 
hope you have a good and blessed day, and I thank you very much.